<laughs> you know what though? What I'm most proud of? I don't give a fuck what size we are, just being a sister. You hear what I'm saying to you? Black women got some special shit with them. We are some special motherfuckers. And if you look around, every sister in here is so pretty and we age so gracefully. You see what I'm saying? You don't never know how old a sister is, baby, because black women, we have a motto about life. We have a motto. Black women don't give a fuck. We don't give a fuck. We don't give a fuck about shit. We don't give a fuck. We don't give a fuck. Girl, you going to work tomorrow? Girl, fuck that job. <laughs> We don't give a fuck. Girl, how your kids doing? Girl, fuck them kids, yeah. <laughs> fuck that. Black women got some shit with them. And brothers, y'all know that. That's how come y'all know y'all don't go all the way over the line. Cause y'all know we some crazy motherfuckers. And y'all a little scared of us from time to time. Some shit that went down at home. Your boy come over and you nervous. You're like, man, don't look at him. <laughs> don't, don't say nothing to her. She done fucked up my shit. <laughs> that's why I love us, baby. But see, sisters, then that's how come we can learn from the white girls. We can learn some shit from a white bitch, because a white bitch knows when to just shut the fuck up. She knows when the argument has come to a motherfucking close. She knows when to back up and say, hey, 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 Peter. I'ma leave this shit alone. Not our black evil ass. We don't give a fuck. A sister will get the last word on your ass, baby. We can be in a goddamn coma. We gonna say our shit. He be like, bitch, don't you say nothing else. Mm-hmm. <laughs> fuck you, nigga, and your mother too. Now take that. <laughs> baby, we just got some shit. See a little white couple? Little white couple have an argument. In the morning time, she gonna cut that shit short. Cause she don't wanna fuck with him, he gotta go make that paper. She's gonna say, hey, hey. Hey, all that shit I said? I, sorry. And I love you. And have a wonderful day at work. And I'll call you, it's wonderful. Not our black ass. We don't give a fuck about having no argument in the morning time. You gotta go make that motherfucking paper. We gonna say our shit. Then your black ass try to walk out the door like you done ended the motherfucking argument. Oh no, nigga, it ain't over. I'm coming to your motherfucking job. Can I speak to James, please? Bring your ass, nigga, bring your ass! <laughs> and baby, a sister will not apologize. Now James had lost his job, because we done been up there six times in two days. Just tell him how the fuck we was feeling about some shit that could have held off for a minute. And we ain't gonna tell him I'm sorry. We ain't fuck that. He sit on the edge of the bed crying. He lost his job. You should have let me say what the fuck I had to say. <laughs> Black woman, but you know, you know who I totally take my hat off to, and she ain't her sister, is Miss Hillary Clinton. I take my hat off to that bitch, cause she knew how to be a fucking wife under pressure. And you know what, baby? If right now with all this election shit coming up, I wish Clinton could run again, cause I would put his ass right back in fucking office. He was running the shit out of this country. You hear what I'm saying? And everybody got mad. White America got mad because he got his dick sucked. So the fuck what? That comes with running the country. That's a privilege when you are the president of the United States. You are supposed to get your dick sucked seven motherfucking days a week. That comes with your goddamn job. Y'all better be glad I'm not president. Line these niggas up. Your turn, your turn, your turn, your turn, your turn, your turn. I be doing electric slide on a nigga. Oh, wait a minute, nigga. Back it up. <laughs> Baby. And I'm telling you, when all this shit broke, 
when it broke. And I'm sitting and I'm watching news. I'm like, Clinton, hold your shit. Hold your motherfucking shit. You are the president. Fuck them, kill them. You're the motherfucking president. You know what I'm saying? Don't become a bitch. Hold your shit. And I was like, and after, you know, for about a month, he was like, fuck y'all. Fuck y'all. I didn't fuck that bitch. I don't know that bitch. Fuck y'all. I'm like, yeah, baby, do your shit. Fuck them, fuck them. And then, <laughs> the whiteness kicked up in his ass. And he came back on TV and got the crying and shit. And he broke America. <laughs> I, I, I uh, want to say I'm sorry. I got my cock sucked. They call it cock. <laughs> They're like, nigga, you got your dick sucked. Clinton. <laughs> That's how come brothers, y'all could never be president. Not because y'all had the skills, but we ain't gonna stand still that long, baby. We gonna show our motherfucking ass on ABC, NBC, CBS, CNN, the Animal Channel, the Discovery Channel, baby. <laughs> and we gonna try to be cool. We gonna try to be cool. Why the media saying, you know, hey, he got his dick up. You be like, mm. <laughs> 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 y'all go to commercial, go to commercial. <laughs> Nigga, you got your 